Peter Slane. Situation report is the headline. Peep the slang, man. Love that dude right there, man. Can we know? Peep the slang, though. To put it in simple human terms, Black Rock, INC, is the world's largest bond holder and seller. It is, according to the public records, a corporation deeply involved in the practice of and profit from bondage, human and otherwise. BlackRock INC is also one of the world's two largest assessment assess management firms, the other being the smaller but better known Vanguard INC. These are the two companies that manage, read that, control, and profit the most from the immense public pension slush funds and assets pools created by false and forced registrations of things like private autos and American babies being mischaracterized as motor vehicles and special purpose vehicles respectively. With only two organizations dominating the market and business class for such activities, both BlackRock and Vanguard operate as incipient monopolies and only avoid that definition and prosecution by widely deploying their operations and keeping their holders in each market just below the level where they would be vulnerable to attack as monopoly interest. Both BlackRock and Vanguard invest their profits from the foregoing activities and stocks and is and in this way have built up immense stock portfolios and shareholder interests in corporations worldwide. They may not have controlling interest, but even a stock position of 20% can wag the dog and cause chaos for corporate management. So it is often seen as the better part of a Vela to give Mr. Vink, the CEO of BlackRock, whatever Mr. Fink wants. Obviously, every politician in America wants to know Larry Fink and his counterpart at Vanguard. They then use these corporate interest holdings to leverage the political results they want. You can readily see how that works. BlackRock tells General Motors that they want support for their favorite candidate. So all the GM executives and all the GM labor union bosses and capos hit the streets and make donations and get out the vote. And nobody knows that Larry Fink did the choosing and decided the election. If you want to divide it up in terms of spheres of interest, BlackRock has more civilian holdings percentage-wise, and Vanguard has more military assets under their management. He who manages assets doesn't necessarily own those assets, so BlackRock occupies a middleman position to serve as a de facto financial trustee for the bond issuer and stock funds and banks, governmental services, corporations in, in need of such services. Being placed in charge of assets management is basically carte blanche control of the assets, absent intervention by the actual owners. So when a company like BlackRock takes over institutional portfolios like those of the Federal Reserve and the IMF, they aren't taking over those entities per se. They are taking over the management of the assets of those entities. The records indicate that BlackRock has additionally functioned as an insurer for both the Federal Reserve and the IMF. And as these banks are bankrupted, BlackRock as the insurer becomes responsible 
for both their debts and their assets, functioning as a de facto bankruptcy. Trustee selling off assets to pay down debts, restructuring loans and ranking creditor interest, reviewing stock portfolios, selling some stocks, buying others and so on. Since BlackRock already picks and chooses what investment the New York Feds buy, it simply extended its position. There was no bid process for the contract, number one, because it's all private business, and number two, because the banks were in no position to argue. So short version, BlackRock now controls all the assets of both the U.S. INC and the U.S. INC, and thereby controls the economy and the monetary policy of this country. And there is nothing standing in their way except a few pesky details, and they are... One, the U.S. INC and the USA INC have both violated national and international law via their practices and BlackRock INC is subject to the same laws as incorporated entities and is prohibited from acting as an accomplice to or a party profiting from the criminal activities of these corporations in their banks. Two, the largest part of all assets in the possession of the U.S. INC and the USA INC don't in fact belong to either organizations. The assets they claim to exist and to own are largely one, totally fictitious, two, belong in fact to the American states and people, C, were only in the possessions of the U.S. INC and USA INC as a result of published custodial service contracts, and D, have been claimed on the public record by the United States of America, incorporated since 1776. Three, BlackRock, positioned as an incorporated entity and insurer in that capacity is forever subordinated to the sovereign immunity of the United States of America and also subordinate to our indemnification. Read that. They claim to be the insurer and holder of other corporations, but we are the indemnifier and the holder in due course and the original issuer of the assets. Four, we are the actual exempt and tax Percuse owners of all the copyrights, trademarks, patents, certificate bonds, stock funds, currency, gold, silver land, soil, and other assets that Mr. Fink and BlackRock INC propose to manage. And BlackRock INC does not have a contract with us unless they propose to act as a successor to the federal constitution. Read that. Mr. Fink needs to contact us as soon as possible to resolve all issues related to the proper functioning of our government services providers and whether or not he and his company wish to involve directly as managers of our assets going forward and under what positions. There also needs to be a discussion regarding the nature of the assets and the ownership interest and the fact that both the USA INC and US INC have engaged in crimes of impersonation and fraudulent conveyance of language to create special purpose vehicles in the names of American state nationals and American state citizens. This has been done using undisclosed and unconscionable contracting processes and has resulted in unlawful conversions of assets and identity theft. All these Americans must be held harmless and allowed to correct the deliberately falsified registrations and titles and powers of attorney related to them and their private property and all right, title, interest, and ownership control of their assets, both public and private, must be returned to them. Either that or Larry Fink and BlackRock Inc. INC will be accomplices to and profiting from fraud resulting in enslavement and involuntary penage kidnap and unlawful conversion of assets, conspiracy against the Constitution, impersonation, barratry, and gross breach of trust, and they will become subject to our counterclaims, including credit collection and commercial fraud, identity theft, and numerous substantive charges for damages. We understand that BlackRock INC was probably not fully informed of the circumstances and the purloined nature of the assets that they have been asked to manage, but by national and international law, where established since the, eight, since the 1600s, when the actual owners of property appear and take proceedings over custodial interest, their property must be returned free and clear of debt or encumbrance and by even more 
Venerable law, possession by pirates does not change ownership of assets. Furthermore, we note the passage of public law 102-14 by the Territorial United States Congress, DBA under the Constitution of the United States of America, and we quote the laws themselves with commentary below. 1. Do not deny God, no adultery. Do not blaspheme God. 3. Do not murder. 4. Do not engage in insidious, adulterous, or homosexual relationships. 5. Do not steal. 6. Do not eat of a live animal. 7. Establish courts, legal systems to ensure law obedience. The very name and existence and nature of God has been denied, in fact, by all incorporated entities, which are lies and idols called legal fictions, and which are akin to all forms of money represent value and paper representation of assets, including stocks and bonds and birth certificates. These practices violate laws one and two, and if BlackRock INC Inc. processes to use the no-high laws for the administration of its assets management practices, it must perforce prosecute itself as an idol. For all incorporated entities are fictions, lies, and idols. Law 3. Prohibiting murder is violated in fact by the impersonation of living people and the false registration of their good names as incorporated franchises of corporations. See above resulting see above it say resulting in their unlawful and fraudulent conveyance into foreign jurisdiction and their subjection under foreign law, human trafficking and genocide on paper. All of this is against laws one, two, and three. It is also against law five, do not steal. As these processes seek to dehumanize and impersonate and scrutinize people, live, scrutinize living flesh and thereby steal the assets, credits, and rights of living people result in commander in control of assets that actually belong to others. Stealing. That is stealing. These venal practices by corporations and all false registrations violate law. Six in the esoteric sense. As dead things, the legal fictitious entities we call corporations have been fetched upon the living flesh and labor and assets of actual people, enriching themselves under color of law by conscripting innocent people to fight in mercenary wars for profit. It goes without saying that those who have knowingly ingested adrenochrome have violated this law in the actual and physical sense. And finally, Law 7 has been violated, for clearly the court systems established by these corporations have done nothing but support the violation of nature and nature's God, and the breaking of each law as detailed above. These courts have knowingly prosecuted innocent, including living people, as if they were corporations subject to statutory law, and using these known false presumptions have defrauded millions of people out of their rights, their land, their private property, and even pretending to own their souls, which belong to God alone. So far from the American states and people being fought for all this fraud practice against them by their employees, they have been the victims of a most venal and pernicious scheme that stands against the territorial public law, 102-14, against the constitution this country adopted for administration of government services at the federal level against the actual public law of this country, which is the Mosaic law of the Ten Commandments and the most principles of trust law too. We call upon Mr. Fink and his associates at Black Rock INC to deeply consider their position and the position of the United States of America and member states of the Union and people thereof. The municipal bonds and special purpose vehicles created in the names of the American people via undisclosed and unconscionable contracting process executed under color of law must be liquidated and returned together with all profit from these impositions to the direct benefit of the actual owners of these good names, along with the peace and jubilee they are owned also. China got their own life. Lost your 401k and all the paper you was owed. Cause you invested in something somebody else was controlling. They make it go up or down, rise high, fall deep. The market's manipulated by people on Wall Street. Talk about the Middle East like America's airless university campus and movie theater terrorists. Two devilish temperament. The government is infamous. Ask the 
and what they do to Guantanamo Bay prisoners. Take time and make the airways and lie to the listeners for sipping false information intended to condition us. The black man's thinking slavery is the evidence. Most don't understand what the winning list let them in. Centuries of self hate, divisions of blacks. Now they twist the difference between racism and fact. We read the Declaration of Independence with blinders. There were nine Freemasons among the 56 signers in 1870. Alone.